she was like over the moon when I designed the kitchen for her and she was just ready for it. <laughs> she just couldn't wait to have her own kitchen. My name's Rebecca and I live in Maidenhead with my fiance Michael and my three children, Lucy, Alex and Hugo. We chose Wren because we saw an advert off the television and it's exactly the kitchen that I wanted. So we didn't consider any other competitors. We just went straight to the Wren showroom. Rebecca popped in without me knowing. <laughs> and I got a phone call and I think from that moment I knew it was, uh, I think she'd found the kitchen that she wanted. And I said, look what well, they've given me. They've given me a good goodie bag. I had about six mugs. <laughs> My name is Anwar Haddad. I designed Rebecca and Mike's kitchen. They knew what they wanted. They wanted a Milano kitchen. So when they came in, they almost were ready for it. So I just came up with the idea and they loved it. I didn't know what to expect when I went into the showroom in terms of what the experience would be working with the designer, whether they would try and steer me in a particular direction, whether they'd be quite proactive in terms of putting in their own ideas, but it was a very straightforward experience. In fact, I was so happy I couldn't stop smiling. It literally was my dream come true. That's true. Um, I, know, and I, I was looking forward to the kitchen, but I was just so excited to see it when it, when, when it was designed. I asked customers need. Uh, when I met them, obviously there were some quite few questions I asked, what are they looking for to achieve? Kind of appliances, um, storage, the type of worktops, type of sinks. That's where Anwar was really helpful. Um, obviously plotting the kitchen on the, on the computer screen. The options that we were given, obviously then just all kind of fit into place and then kind of building then the kitchen in front of your eyes. I didn't really have any idea of where I wanted things in terms of like the larders having those symmetrical uh, around the refrigerator. I know I knew I wanted a wine cooler. That was my kitchen was built around the, the wine cooler probably. There was a chance we didn't have to have the pillar. There was a chance we had to have a different pillar, and obviously that's quite a focal point of the kitchen. So trying to deal with that, which was was tricky right up to to the last moment. Yeah. When you have a pillar in the middle of the space, it's always hard to design a kitchen around it. Uh, you've got to make sure that you walk around the space comfortably and you make the pillar part of the design itself. The kitchen design was always to be all of us in the same place for most of the time. The kids love it. They you know, they can sit up, they can run around, we can see when they're eating. We didn't want anyone to be in any other room. Yeah. We've really tested the space because we hosted Christmas for the first year we had we had the kitchen. We just thought, you know, when you've got, we had what, 14? 14 adults. Adults, yeah. yeah. And we thought we actually got the perfect space. Although we were doing the cooking, being able to interact with all of our guests at the same time was great. And obviously everyone else getting involved in the kitchen and drinking and helping laughing and helping, yeah. it was really good. We worked hard for it, they worked hard for this beautiful extension, but I'm sure the dream came true. It's, um, as I said, I'm speechless for this beautiful kitchen. Mm -hmm.